What's up, guys? We're backstage at our iHeartRadio alter ego. I'm iHeartRadio's Emily Curl with Justin Richmond from the Broken Record podcast, and we are here with the legendary Jerry Cantrell. Oh, Jerry, wow. it's so nice to see you. Can we get up for Thank Jerry? You. Thank you. Legendary. Legendary. Even. Okay. All right. That's a surprise. Come yeah. on. Yeah. That made me feel feel good about myself. Thank oh, good, you. good. Yeah. Well, listen, we're so excited to have you here. I think what's so fun about our festival and our lineup is we have such iconic bands. But every time we do something like this, we have a nice surprise. Sure. And you're going to be that moment tonight. I know fans are going to go crazy when you walk. Oh, the stage. okay. Well, I mean, <laughs> what does it mean for I've you got to be some, back here? I've got some friends playing the show tonight, and they invited me down. I thought I would uh, pop in and see what's up. Uh, um, We'll, uh, we'll, we'll see if something happens. We'll see if something yeah, happens. It may something. happen, it may not. I don't know. Oh, okay. I don't know. All right. I don't know. All right. Yeah. Well, who, who, are you, who are your friends that you're here to see tonight? Uh, the Bush guys uh, invited me down, but uh, I'm looking forward to seeing the, the Black Keys. And I think I saw Leto rolling around here somewhere. <laughs> it's always good seeing him. And uh, uh, it should be a good night. It's a great show, great lineup. And uh, uh, should uh, uh, everybody should have a good time, I think. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. so. Well, I'm going to. Yeah. Bush toured with you guys last summer, right? With the they they did. They yeah. did. Yeah. And uh, I actually went out and did a few shows uh, with Gavin uh, on my uh, tour from my last record on Brighton. And uh, one of which in Reno, it was Reno and uh, uh, the Palladium, I think. And I've got, I got snowed in in Reno. So I owe him a show because I wasn't <laughs> able to, to make the uh, Palladium. So. Maybe that's why I'm. Is that what this is? <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> a little, pay, a little payback. That paid yeah. tonight. Yeah, a little payback. Yeah. Congratulations yeah. on Brighton, by the way. It's called, oh, thank been you. out a couple of years, but thanks, I, man. It was such, it was such a yeah. good record. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually working on another one right now, and uh, oh. we're gonna start work on it on it pretty pretty soon. So. Uh, keep your ear, ear to the ground uh, about that one. I'll have some news about that shortly oh, as well. Exciting. But oh, uh, yeah, some sure. new tunes coming. Cool. Yeah. Oh. How, how do you when you're writing? How do you know like this is for this is for me? Well, I mean, for me, I've been I've been really fortunate to you know be part of a great band, uh, Alice in Chains, and mm -hmm. and uh, you know I I just like to write, and it's something that I kind of do through my process uh, with the guys, and and also on my own, and so. Um, uh, I guess the the only difference of whether it's you know an Alice song or or, or something else is whether we're doing it with Alice or not. <laughs> you know? So yeah. so um, you know I've had the the good fortune to uh, to make some good records with with a uh, with a bunch of my good friends, including Sean and and uh, Mike uh, on the first record. Uh, you know Les Claypool from Primus and Norwood Fisher and Angelo and yeah. and, and uh, you know Rob Trujillo and Mike Borden. You know I've had some really great. Players, Mike, All legendary uh, LA guys. Yeah, yeah. You know, yes. Duff McKagan yeah. on the last record, Abe Laboreal Jr. So uh, there's a couple more, might be a couple of surprises on this next little project that uh, that uh, might see a couple of those people uh, reappear and 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 rock some tunes with me. So as you get into this mindset of this new project and, and you're working on it, I'm curious for you what what do you find interesting right now? What's inspiring you? What's what's something that, that you're really interested in? It's interesting, uh, you know when you've been doing it as long as I have. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm going into my, my fourth decade now, <clears throat> uh, you know, writing and recording. So um, I think you just, you know, for me, uh, you know, there's the live experience, which is touring and stuff like that. And, yeah. and I don't really write during that period. I'm kind of oh, enjoying right. the process and being in shape for the shows. You might collect riffs and stuff like that, but it's usually in the downtime from touring uh, where, uh, where the the itch starts to creep in, like okay, you start picking up the guitar and you start working some things out. One song turns into another song, and all of a sudden, before you know it, you got enough material to make a record. And and uh, I'm just at the tail end of one of those kind of creative uh, periods, I guess. So it's yeah. time to record the thing. Yeah. Do you record your shows? Because I know, like you were talking about, we do. How sometimes some riffs come up. Yeah. Is that how you remember what you're? Yeah, that or or the phone or or you know uh, you know what whatever's handy you know uh, sound checks when you're at sound checks the the uh, you know the the sound guys recording the show right. like you just said right. and so you know we'll get some good ideas mm -hmm. at sound checks just stumbling across stuff or trying some riffs and uh, oftentimes those will turn into tunes. You know? I heard Jimmy Page did a lot of that like between yeah. between <clears throat> songs with Zeppelin like he would riff just to tune like tune and then play something and be like oh, I, I, like I, that I think any musician would tell you the same thing and 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 we all you know. You, you have to document an idea that strikes you, you know, like, well, that's that's cool. You know, I got to get that down because you might not remember it tomorrow. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Some other riffs might come in, some other stuff might happen. So uh, I've had a few of those riffs that I've lost and I knew they were Whoa. good. 
I knew they were good, but I just can't get them back. So you learn after losing a few of those to just throw it down, you know, just throw it down because you can always go back. And, you know, by the, I probably got like 700 voice memos on my phone, probably just like of me singing dumb shit into a phone or, or playing you stuff. You just go through the yeah. archive yeah. of those. Yeah. I feel like that'd but be a, a, a lot of a lot of my writing sessions with Alice and, and also on my own uh, uh, come from like riffs or ideas that I put yeah. down, you know, so like just document it yeah. and you never know what it's going to turn into. If, yeah. if, it, if, it, if it was cool enough for you to want to record it, Ooh. there might be something to it, you yeah. know, so. We, even in the early days of Alice, is that a practice you kept? Sure, yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah. Well, back then it was tape, right? Right, so you had the little, you had the little tiny tape recorder that you'd speak into or record, or uh, just like a little four track, a little Tascam yeah. four track. Always had that set up, you know. Didn't. Uh, that's the cool thing about technology is it's easy to put 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 it into your phone, put it on the computer, whatever, you know, and just save it and build on it later, or or, or put it in there and start working on it immediately. So yeah. yeah. Playing like you said, playing shows live for so long is that how you keep it fresh? Like how? how yeah. You well, you know, I mean, it's it's. It's a different experience, you know. The 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 live experience for me is is uh, it's kind of like uh, writing to me is kind of like the off season, and yeah. and live is like this. It's that's it's, that's, it's that, game that, time. That's, that's, that's game time. Like you said, you got to be in shape. That, You're yeah. in shape yeah. for it's like, and it's a long tour and it's yeah. a lot of stuff and you've got to stay healthy for it. You got to play through injuries, being sick, do you get in like shape all of that? that stuff. Yeah, it's just you know. Process? Yeah, just like anything else, just yeah. trying to get your, you know, trying yeah. to, you know, watch your diet a little bit, get a little exercise, you know, uh, get your reps in. Uh, <laughs> it's, you know, it's muscles, you know what I mean? And right. so, uh, especially as a singer, too, you got to keep that thing in shape as well. So, um, you know, you just kind of kind of go through your routine to get your body at least in as, as good a position as you can to start the thing. And then you just go with, with whatever you got left uh, till the tour is over. And that's, you know, that's usually, you know, a year, year and a half of touring usually on an album cycle, wow. so. You know what's yeah. funny to that point though, I hear a lot of bands say that sometimes their best shows are at the, like the end of the tour. Like sure. Their best show. So yeah. Like, if you're like how how is that the case if you're so worn out from the tour that you're well you may shows. you may be worn but you've got way more game time experience with each other you're greasy you know what I mean yeah. like mm -hmm. like all the plays are working all the songs are good you yeah. you you know uh, uh, so you may have a little bit more wear and tear but 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 you're 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 uh, more bonded as a unit you know so That's cool. the more yeah. reps the more reps you get with with anything I think and so so. Uh, and I would agree with that. You know, it's though we try not to record too much when we start out while we're still <laughs> still, trying, like, to, Let's wait still trying to figure it out. Let's get a couple of weeks before we start recording stuff yeah. or doing live live shows on on radio. So, right. but uh, yeah, yeah, it's amazing. That's amazing. Well, Jerry, twenty twenty four. What are you most looking forward to? Maybe with music outside of music. Uh, what is this year bringing me? Um, well, I mean, for me, that's pretty much where my pretty much where my head and my heart are as music. So, you know, uh, I'm gonna be making some new music. I'm gonna get to play some uh, play some great music uh, with the Alice guys in April. We're playing, uh, what is that, Sick New World in, in uh, Vegas, I think at the end of April. So that'll be fun. And I'm sure some other stuff up will pop up with Alice too. And uh, uh, and I'll be working on trying to get a record out sometime this year, you know, yeah. Well, Jerry, thank you so much for your time. Oh, thanks for, for being having me. Yeah. We can't wait to, to see everything that goes down tonight on that stage. So we're oh, looking cool. forward to that. <laughs> One All more right. time for Jerry Kittrell backstage on right radio. Thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here and don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here.